Alright guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Jacob Riley and today I'm reviewing this 2019 Camaro SS. Alright guys, so like I said, this is a 2019 Camaro SS. This has 455 horsepower and 455 pound-feet of torque coming from an eight cylinder. And this is the 10 speed automatic, which really is uh, good at putting the power down. Some people say you need a manual, but uh, this 10 speed is what is in the Mustang, the uh, Corvette ZR1. So I'm gonna take you through this car. We'll start at the front and head towards the back and then go inside and then take it out on a drive and tell you how it uh, feels on the road. All right, so in the front of the Camaro right here, you can see the uh, updated facelift. Now this is on all the new Camaros uh, that are coming out, but this was new for the 2019 model year. And um, it was definitely controversial when it came out, and it still is, but it's the sort of thing that I think a lot of people have grown to love. You have the hollow out uh, Chevy badge right here, SS badge, just so everyone knows uh, what you have under the hood. And overall with a dark colored car, I think this looks really good. It, um, it just looks really aggressive and mean with the black grille. And uh, you have some uh, kind of carbon fiber style um, on the front lip here. I don't think it's real, but it uh, has the appearance of carbon fiber. All right, so before we go under the hood on the Camaro, I wanna show you the side of this car and especially the wheels and tires. Now these are 20 inch uh, wheels and in the front we have 245s and in the rear it's 275. So it really helps you put down the power, uh, which you're definitely gonna need because you don't want this thing fishtailing on you. These tires are actually the exact same as the ones that I have coming for my BRZ. So we'll get to see how good they are before I put them on my car. So now I'm gonna take you under the hood and show you the awesome engine underneath. Under the hood of the Camaro, we have the LT1 engine, and this engine puts out 455 horsepower and 455 pound-feet of torque. It's a 6.2 liter V8, and the updated version of this, the LT2, is what's in the C8 Corvette, so you know you're getting a really good engine with this. And the power is sent through a 10-speed automatic transmission. That's a lot of gears, but uh, shifting should be really smooth and um, plenty of gears to go through. So on the Camaro SS, there are a few different trim levels you can have. You have the 1SS, the 2SS, and the 1LE. This Camaro has the 2SS, which uh, upgrades your brakes. So as you can see, you have Brembo brakes on both the front and the rear, and it gives you a little bit more on the interior, which I'll talk about when we get there. Now let's head to the rear of the car and talk about the redesign that they did back there. All right, so onto the rear of the Camaro SS. Nothing really too crazy back here. The taillights are new for the 2019 model year. Um, I think these look really good. I like the rear more than the um, facelift of the Camaro, but I'm sure it'll grow on me over time. You do have dual tip exhaust, which I'll play uh, the exhaust for you right now. other things you have a backup camera down here by the license plate but then on the wing here there's actually a camera too which is for the uh, rear view mirror so you can flip a switch and I'll show you this on the interior but it'll cut to a camera very similar to the uh, C8 Corvette and uh, a lot of the new Chevys are doing this it's not um, fully allowed to be um, like the sole camera in the car you still have to have a functional rear view mirror but uh, eventually US regulations should probably allow this as the standard so Chevy's definitely ahead of the game on that. All right, so sitting inside the Camaro SS, this, um, it feels very much like previous Camaros. I have sat in the generation before this, and um, it's exactly what you'd think. You have this long hood out in front of you. Um, visibility is not the greatest, but that's always been um, kind of the weak spot of the Camaro. But talking to the owner, he said that uh, over time you get very used to it. The steering wheel here feels really great, and um, it does have the paddle shifter since it is the 10 speed. Um, you have the SS badge and uh, lots of controls on the steering wheel, which is really nice. Something interesting is the screen right here. Um, it's at a really weird angle. So it's kind of the top of it's tilted towards you. And um, that's actually done so that you don't have any glare on the screen here, which is really good. But definitely uh, looks kind of weird when you first get in. It looks like it's uh, bent. Down here you have your AC. And Camaro does something really awesome with these. And it's been on the generations before. But um, instead of having a dial where you can make the air warmer or colder, you just actually turn the dial right here, which makes a lot of sense. I don't know why more automakers aren't um, implementing this feature. And then you can also close the vent um, with the dial right there. So everything's kind of integrated into the vent, which just 
Um, as you can see, there aren't a lot of buttons in here, so it definitely clears up some space. Here you have your gear selector, so uh, it's like a normal automatic, so very simple to get in and drive. Um, you have your traction control off button here, which we won't be using today, but if you did want to have a spin class, you could use that. Um, and then your different modes here, which I'll talk about in just a few minutes. You do have an electronic parking, uh, or like electronic handbrake. This is pretty standard on um, most newer cars. You don't really have the pull handbrake like my car has. Um, decent sized cup holders, you do have two of them. And um, since this isn't a manual, you don't really have to worry about them being in the way. Um, right here, you have your glove box or your uh, center console. And as you can see, there's not really a ton of space in the center console here. Um, but I mean, this is a sports car. You're not getting a lot of space in either this or um, the car's competitor, the Mustang. Uh, I'll go through the infotainment in just a few minutes. Not really gonna do an in-depth review. Um, there's plenty of uh, YouTube videos out there on this system and it's in plenty of Chevys. Um, the dash overall is very simple and I like it a lot. Um, you have everything you need on the screen right here and I'm sure you can change a lot of settings um, right there. The seats do feel really good. So because this is the 2SS package, which I talked about, um, you have the leather seats, which feel really good. And the back seats, they aren't um, really gonna be used for carrying passengers. They're more for groceries or if you need to carry stuff with you. It is very responsive. This is a 2019, so it, it should be very responsive. It feels like an iPhone. Um, you have a bunch of different apps here, My Chevrolet, Weather, Spotify, um, and you can connect your phone, audio, everything you need on here. Um, you have a home button and it actually has Wi-Fi hotspot, which is nice. So passengers can, uh, you can have it for directions. This is a push button start because it is an automatic and you actually have remote start too with the key right here. So you can start it from the outside and hear your uh, awesome 6.2 liter V8. All right, so I'm inside the Camaro SS and uh, it definitely is very powerful and it sounds pretty good, especially for stock. You can hear um, a lot of, like the car wants to pop and uh, crackle, but definitely the stock exhaust is a little bit restrictive. Nothing uh, an aftermarket exhaust can't fix. Uh, for this car being close to 4,000 pounds, I'll put the number on the screen right here. It handles really well and you've got the paddle shifters and everything and uh, different drive modes, which change the uh, suspension on the car. It drives really well. Um, nothing like, it's not as direct as uh, like something that weighs lighter, like a like Miata or something, but that's this is a muscle car. It's made to go in a straight line and it does it really well. So we got one more straightaway here. Um, I can show a little bit of the power and then that'll be it for the video. Um, appreciate you watching the video. If you enjoyed this, give a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Make sure to comment below if uh, you have any video ideas for me, but I'll see you next time.